going on everybody? Dogman Dan here. Firefall again. Okay, so today we're going on Proving Ground. This is campaign mission number five uh, in hardcore mode. Okay, we're going to switch things up a tiny bit here, as you will see in just a moment as soon as it gets loaded. Sorry if there's any kind of weird, weird uh, fuzzy audio here. Try to take that out of there. There was something going on with my headset when I was recording these. Apparently it was picking up an... Uh, my laptop's open mic or something. I'm not sure. But, so hopefully it still comes out okay. So, uh, proving ground, what we're going to do here for me is I'm actually going to end up changing into my mammoth. Uh, I know that I'm going to get behind the group because the rest of the group is going to go faster than me being in my mammoth. But I will be picking up the slack. I will be uh, making sure that I... Pretty much res up the guys if they go down type of thing. Because there's a lot of a lot of gunfire going on, so I have the capabilities to keep myself up. And then, of course, when we get to the boss, it's going to be my job as the mammoth to pretty much tank him. While the rest of the guys just do their thing on him as well. So uh, you'll see a little bit of that going on in here, I think. That's how we'll play this one out. Again, it's going to go fairly quick. We've got a good team. Same team from the last run. Um, and then we've also got uh, six, seven, and eight runs as well in terms of the campaign missions that'll come out. So let's get started. So. Don't worry. They'll probably put up a tough front. They're not bad folk. Then why do you need the backup? Hey, in case I'm wrong, you're not going to have to say anything. Just look tough, like you're pissed or something. Yeah, just like that. This place always creeps the hell out of me. It reminds me of that swamp from when I was a kid. Oopsie. Sorry. So basically I gotta go through these buildings and unlock some stuff. That's basically what we're doing. Well, I'm here, ain't I? Did you bring the flight recorder? Okay, so they got a battle green uh, garage over there. Let me just swap out of the way. Into Mammoth. I guess I guess I can shoot on them as well and take them out before they fall down. Sorry, get some of the damage down on the Blood Kings. So this is a timed one, of course. Even in regular mode, it's timed. So realistically, running something faster is going to get you through, but because there is a lot of uh, enemies in here, this is, uh, for me, I like enjoying and using the Mammoth just because. And because I have tons of ammo, I just kind of hold down the trigger and do my thing. You don't know who you're talking to, do you? It won't be a problem. Boom. Don't screw up. You put hostiles. You see, my damage is actually fire element damage. Is basically how I set my my plasma machine gun up. So I'm using a custom purple that I had made, flaming trojan. Which you've probably seen in some of the other videos we talk about. It takes a lot of resources to make the purples. So. And I wanted to make this one um, the heat fire element when I did it. Now I'm slow no matter what I do, so. <laughs> when, I, when I go over the pads there, the I'm still even slow. 
I can't even catch up to them fast enough from what the tiger claws are dropping. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Something in my throat there. Yeah, so we got four more terminals, and like I said, I knew this was going to happen where I would be slow compared to the other guys. But I'll catch up to them and uh, do what needs to be done to clean up the messes from behind. You know, a tank is a tank. It's not exactly meant to go fast, so. But my role really comes into play towards the end when we go against the boss. That's basically, basically it for this one. Or when they get too far in and, and they get bombarded with, uh, with the Blood Kings. And goes down like that. Because there's a machine gun over there. And there's also a sniper. But a tank is a tank, no matter what. I'll hang out here, get a little bit of uh, health back here. Let the rest regen on its own. Ow. That hurt. I need to get in and take some damage. I got this. Yeah, it's nice. What I always has been nice about a game, and I know I've said it over and over, is that each class has a role. I'm out of ammo. And if the role is performed right, it just works. And people set their stuff up differently to fit their style, their play style, but the role of the class itself still does what it's supposed to, then, you know, we're all set. And we're talking Mammoth, the Rhino, the Dreadnought. I know the Arsenal as well is considered in the Dread class. Um, but it's kind of an odd offset. I mean, it's it's a heavy gunner, you know, it's it's a gunner. It's basically what it is. All right, let's get out of here. My favorite two, of course, are the Mammoth and then the Rhino, which I'm still working on setting him up. I went the wrong way. What the hell? Big circle. Three of the five terminals. Of course, I am behind. So I get to play around with the Blood Kings here. I'll just get out of the way. Again, each one of these, you can do them on a daily basis after the game reset. Like you do in other games, you know, the games have daily resets, with daily login rewards and all that stuff. Um, and you can get up, if you do all of the missions, you can get up to seven campaign tokens in a day. And so you can you, know, you can pick up the element blueprints, the high level element blueprints and stuff like that. We gotta, we gotta get down, I'll get them. Uh, high level blueprints and stuff uh, in terms of the elements so when you're crafting the weapons you do that but again it takes a crap ton of resources um, and right now my objective right now is to actually use the campaign tokens to buy uh, the tier 3 from the campaign vendor of the weapons across the classes so I don't have to craft the blue level uh, and I can craft the rest of the items and gear into a, tower, a, a tier 3 blue level and then I can work towards getting enough resources and everything to craft to a tier four. But I'm very content with a tier three mix to a tier four. Uh, get it high enough. Like this mammoth, I've got a 974 power rating on it. Um, it's pretty much, it is all tier three with, obviously the gun is a purple tier four gun. Um, so, 
believe one of the abilities is tier 4 ability. I don't remember which one it is. I think it's my, uh, my repulsor blast. My gravity repulsor. No, that's a blue. Never mind. I'm just talking to myself right now. Okay, so they got the last one because I'm that slow. But this is where my job comes in. So we'll sit back and enjoy. Alright, Blood King Commander is going to go down. This is where I come into play. I just don't stop. Okay, and he drops down the uh, unlimited ammo from being the... Uh, I forget what is Recon. But I'm not I'm not gonna get off of him just stay on him the whole time just keep the damage going in and as you can see the green colors is actually me getting um, healed back up based off of my perks that I have set up as I do the damage or as I take the damage I should say is how I get rehealed done anyway uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Comments, questions below. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks as always for watching and uh, we'll see you soon.